Abdul Qadir Abubakar, a former chief intelligence officer, CIO, for Boko Haram has warned the leader of the group, Abubakar Shakal, to stop using innocent girls who are being hypnotized as human bombs, PR Nigeria reports. Abu Bakar, also known as Abu Muhammad, also warned other factional leaders of the group like Maman Noor, Abur Manak, Abu Mazdal Branai and Abu Manak to repent from their deadly ways and embrace peace. Abu Bakar was one of Boko Haram's top commanders, until his arrest in June by the military in Bunny Yadi in Gujba local government area of Yobi state. The commander speaking from his cell in May Ijaguri, to PR Nigeria said, I am calling on Abu Bakar Shakal, Maman Noor, Abramanak and Abu Mazdal Branai to lay down their arms and to stop the senseless killings. Shakal has continued to demonstrate his cruelty and atrocities against humanity. He had killed a lot of souls, destroyed homes and rendered people homeless. He continued to exercise God's authority to himself by killing innocent souls at will without any justification. This was why all his commanders left him. He doesn't have pity for the aged, women, children as well as young girls, who are mostly suffering and dying in his camp. His followers are committing all sort of atrocities under his nose while he continued to show no concern. Many who dared to question his dastardly acts, were promptly eliminated by Shakal. Some of his commanders like Alev and our chief mechanic known as Paper were killed for begging Shakal to provide food to mothers and their children at the time our camp in Abizo ran out of food. When Shakal was told to help them, he said he did not come to Sambiza to feed the children of Handak he said if 100,000 of them die every day, that's none of his business. At some point women became beggars to feed their children in Sambiza, while at least 13 children get killed of malnutrition and other hardship meted on them by Shakal. This is the reason why Mam Noor, al Manchari. Abramanak and Abba al Bernai, including myself, deserted him and form our own factional groups. Maman Nur moved to the shores of Chad while al Bernai and Abba, last born of Muhammad Yusuf, remained at the shores of Mugmari. All of us as at then were all hunting to kill Shakal just like the Nigerian military because of the atrocities he committed under our name. We had fought nine times with him and killed many of his men. Shakal must know that all of those women he is sending with improvised explosive device, IDES, in places of worships, market and schools are our sisters and mothers and they don't deserve to die. He must know that one day he would be called in to account for all the atrocities he has committed in the name of Islam. There is no compulsion in religion. Indeed God has really allowed the truth to prevail over falsehood. There is no verse of the Holy Quran that permitted Muslims to kill anybody. God will punish even those who feel happy while we are killed not to talk of killing innocent souls. So you cannot kill anyone who doesn't believe in your faith or practice. Arrogantly. Shakal declared a whole country and people living it as infidels and ordered that everyone living in the city and not Sambiza must be killed. Islam can never be synonymous to senseless killings. Shakal should remember that he was nobody but ordinary student. He remember that he had only two sets of cloths when we were in May Ijaguri. I remember ever telling him that brother Shakal why can't you buy more cloths to wear? And he told me that he was afraid of meeting God in the day of judgment. He should look at himself and ask himself if he has achieved from the senseless course. Despite all the looted wealth and power he had acquired, was he able to buy himself good health? 
He is now a cripple is in fact a lesson for him to learn and understand that God is punishing you for the pain you inflicted on others. Nage. Com previously reported that the Nigerian Air Force, NAF, has intensified its air operations in northeastern Nigeria and in the process, neutralized scores of Boko Haram terrorists, BHT, in Tumbunrago, a settlement at the northern fringes of Borno State bordering Lake Chad. According to a statement by NAF's spokesman, Air Vice Marshal Lola Takanbo Aitsenya, the operation occurred during a routine intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, ISR, mission on Thursday, December 21, 